Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmad and welcome to lecture number 8. Today we are going to attach or add the coding editor for setup in our CRUD operation application. So you can easily understand how can you add the bootstrap 4 or ccc.js file. So go to the get bootstrap. So okay, this is the official website of the bootstrap. So I am saying download. You have two ways to download your sorry you have two ways to add your CSS and JS file or the bootstrap one by using the CDN second by using the download the physical files or physical framework setup so I am going to copy all the code so this is the bootstrap dot CSS file and also the bootstrap dot JS file Okay, now go to the okay so this is the students table and add your files here add the JS file in the footer so this is the bootstrap.main.js file and this is the footer of CSS file. So now go to the page and fetch the page and how you verify that as you can see it's working fine. Now I'm saying copy the entire code here and add in a div and add the container. Sorry, container with row. I'm saying call md and it's fine. Go to the page, press the page. So you can see it's fine. And now I'm saying this is the button. Button, button, uh, primary. Okay, now you can also use the buttons here or in the tables you can specify your class table table I don't know what is the class of the table let me check so these are the tables and now as you can see this is the table class okay the table class is a table now go to the page press the page now as you can see now it's fine this is the edit and the delete you have to add the two fields edit and also the delete okay now it's fine you can also add the button here and also the here. I'm saying button button add the class button button info fresh as you can see it's fine and you can use the danger here. So these are the classes. If you are not familiar with Bootstrap 4, so don't worry about it. Just Okay, fetch the page, it's delayed. So in this way you can add the bootstrap. So this is the first way to add the bootstrap. Okay, now go to the download sections and add this query here. Of course you have to add the JS at the top of your code. So JS slim. Okay, now Fine. Right here, inspect element console. As you can see, nothing is happened. If you remove these two files which you have just added, now go to your page, refresh the page. As you can see, it's giving you the error. It's saying that fn of undefined. So that's why we have added two two 
values or to files so this is the one method to add the bootstrap the second method is the downloading the source code of the bootstrap so i'm saying i'm going to download the compiled css and js file and i'm going to store this file in the crud which we have created crud ci4 and going to app and also in the public folder now open this bad boy in the folder so as you can see this is the folder right click extract here this and rename your bootstrap okay now as you can see you have your two files css and js now open your editor you have added the css file at the top of your page so this is the css file so this is a cdn now you have physical file now how can you add this file i'm saying link real real style sheet and href and i'm saying type is text slash css now you have to specify your url i'm saying base url and i'm saying assets oh sorry i'm saying bootstrap bootstrap css and then in the css folder so go to your public and this is the bootstrap in the css folder you have bootstrap.css file so bootstrap.css file so remove this cdn now you have your physical file fetch the page it's fine right click inspect element view page source is working fine if you give the wrong file name now go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's giving you the error it's saying 404 not found okay so you have to specify the accurate path and also the accurate url so you have added the css file now you just need to add the js file so this is your js file so how can you add your js file i'm saying that this is the script and the type of the script is text slash javascript and now i'm saying that uh, src and i have to say that this is the not site url this is the base url and i'm saying go to the bootstrap folder find the js folder and find the js bootstrap dot js file so now i'm saying bootstrap dot js file go to the page press the page it's fine if you provide the wrong you are uh, file name or the path it will generate you the error so as you can see it's giving you the error okay now fine you have successfully added the bootstrap 4 in your project because i am not teaching you the bootstrap 4 here i just added or integrated the bootstrap 4 in my crud application so i think this is enough for today so thank you for watching